So uh, I was looking around for something to talk about this week, and I found this article. I thought it was pretty cool on uh, New Scientist. This has kind of become my new go-to place for news. I hope that's okay with everybody. <laughs> um, but yeah, so there's a company called Centauri. Ooh, sounds very sciencey in Greek. Um, <laughs> right. From a guy named uh, Darren McKnight. He's the head there. Anyway, they have an idea to get rid of space junk using talcum powder. And uh, the idea is basically they're going to launch subatomic rockets that subatomic <laughs> suborbital rockets, <laughs> very, very small rockets, um, but literally like just with talcum powder on board or some kind of fine cloud that they can launch in front of space debris that's kind of uh, in a low Earth orbit. And just that cloud of talcum powder would be enough to slow its momentum to bring it down into earth is really? the idea hmm. well that's um, pretty cool so there's this is there are 2,000 active satellites with 3,000 dead satellites and thousands of pieces of dangerous smaller debris i i assume this would only actually work for like low earth orbit though because uh to deorbit from from a lot higher up you know from from geostationary or middle earth orbits things like that you know uh you have to slow down a lot like it's a uh, to get from oh, because the velocity is higher. Well, actually, well, the funny thing is actually they're moving slower, but it takes a lot of delta v to to. So if you were to remove something from geostationary orbit and have it deorbit, totally get out and and run back into our atmosphere, it's like eighteen hundred, nineteen hundred meters per second of delta v, and that's like a quarter of the amount of delta v to to get to space in the first place. So mm. it's a lot of energy to get back down from geostationary orbit. So this would have to be for like uh, for Leo satellites, I would assume. But I've yeah, never probably, heard of this. Probably. I've I mean, never it, heard it, of anything like this. It says that like uh, the timing would have to be just exact because the capsule would have to release its particles about ten seconds in front of the target object Whoa. at altitudes of hundreds of kilometers. So yeah, that's not that's not very high. Yeah. And yeah. they're even just using like sounding rockets. That's crazy. Uh, I mean, it's an interesting. So they basically idea. just make and, a cloud um, of talcum powder, and then the the defunct satellite or debris runs into it, and it. Slows it down? Mm-hmm. Hmm. That's crazy. I mean, I guess it slows it down just enough to, to you know, lower its orbit and... Well, it's, it's compounding it for sure, like deorbiting, because, you know, if you slow down a little bit, you get a little bit thicker into, the, you know, on the opposite side of your orbit, you get into the deeper parts of the atmosphere, so then you slow down more, more. and then mm. more and more, and, you know, it just keeps compounding until, whoop, you deorbit pretty quickly, and there's a sudden drop yeah, off, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. That makes sense. That's actually really cool. I mean, I, I did a video a while back on the space debris problem, and it's not something that's uh, going to get better by itself, <laughs> at least not over thousands of years. Right. Um, so I, I think it's any any kind of ideas like that are interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Or so it sounds like here, this is great for when rockets or uh, satellites shut down, and we need to take them offline. Mm-hmm. Hey, thanks for checking us out, guys. I hope you enjoyed this clip from our podcast. We do a weekly show here on YouTube, so make sure to subscribe to Our Ludicrous Future, where we discuss all the things that are going to make our future totally ludicrous. You can join us here on YouTube or at any of your favorite podcast places. Plus, if you want to get some behind-the-scenes stuff and join a cool community, you can help support the channel at patreon.com. Thanks a lot. Thanks, guys.